Let's see the second theorem for a square matrix. Expression of a square matrix as a sum of a symmetric matrix and a skew symmetric matrix. Okay, let's take the earlier example that we took. Rather, this has nothing to do with the earlier one, but I'll just kind of explain this to you. Let A be a matrix which is expressed as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 6, 4, 2, 1. Right? Now we know that a symmetric matrix can be written as for any square matrix A plus A dash. Okay? And a skew symmetric matrix can be written as A minus A dash. Theorem 2 basically says that a square matrix A okay, can also be written as one half of symmetric matrix plus one half of skew symmetric matrix. Now this is a symmetric matrix we know because we did one example earlier on. For those of you who have not been able to go through it, I would suggest first go through that example and you will know that if there is a matrix A, then A plus transpose of A is a symmetric matrix. Right? Similarly, we also saw that A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. Or basically, this is equal to minus C, right? But that's beyond the point. Let's see in this case. So A is equal to half A plus A transpose plus half A minus A transpose. Right? So shall we see the proof of this? Okay. So first we can write this as half A plus A transpose. So I think first we need to find out the value of A transpose. That will be what? R1, R2, R3. We will write R1 here, R2 here, R3 here, but in a columnar format. So 2, 8, 4, 2, 8, 4, 4, 10, 2, 4, 10, 2, 6, 6, 1. Right? So let's find out A plus A transpose. Maybe let me use a different color out here. Let's start with A plus A transpose. So you have A value here and the transpose value here. So you pick up first one here and first one here. So 2 plus 2 gives you 4. 8 plus 4 gives you 12. 4 plus 6 gives you 10. Then 4 plus 8 gives you 12. 10 plus 10 gives you 20. 2 plus 6 gives you 8. 4 plus 6 gives you 10. 6 plus 2 gives you 8. And 1 plus 1 gives you 2. Right? So we are done with the first part. Similarly, we find out A minus A transpose. So you do 2 minus 2 gives you 0. 4 minus 8 gives you minus 4. 6 minus 4 gives you 2. 8 minus 4 gives you 4. 10 minus 10 gives you 0, 6 minus 2 gives you 4, 4 minus 6 gives you minus 2, 2 minus 6 gives you minus 4, and 1 minus 1 gives you 0. Right? Okay. Now you do the half of both of these matrix, so you divide each one of them by 
2. So 4 by 2 gives you 2, 12 by 2 gives you 6, 10 by 2 gives you 5, 12 by 2 gives you 6, 10, 4, 5, 4, 1. Plus, again, half of these numbers, so you divide each one of them by 2, like this, okay? 0 by 2 will give you 0, 4 by 2 gives you 2, minus 2 by 2 gives you minus 1. Similarly, this gives you minus 2, 0, minus 2. This will give you 1, 2, and 0, right? Now, if you take the sum of these two, what do you get? Let me do it here, otherwise it will kind of just spill it over. 2 plus 0 gives you 2. 6 plus 2 gives you 8. 5 minus 1 gives you 4. 6 minus 2 gives you 4. 10 plus 0, 10. 4 and minus 2, 2. 5 plus 1, 6. 4 plus 2, 6. And 1 plus 0, 1. Now, if you compare this you will see that 246, 246, 810, 6, 810, 6, 421, 421. So ultimately, we found out that the sum of the skew matrix and the sum of the skew, sim, sorry, sum of the symmetric matrix and the sum of the skew symmetric matrix is equal to the matrix itself. Right? And hence this theorem holds true.